My name is Chelsea May Garrett and I'm the new blogger for Leisure Arts and today we're going to talk about color theory. I've been an art student for about five years now and we talk a lot about color. So today I'm going to try and condense five years of art school into five minutes or less of super instructional video for you. For a lot of people, when they're planning a project, picking colors can be the hardest part. Well, a great place to start is with what we call primary colors. This is probably something you're familiar with, probably remember from grade school. But red, yellow, and blue are the primary colors. This means that every color that you see out there is made from these three colors. When you combine these colors, they make secondary colors. So for example, yellow and blue make green. Uh, yellow and red make orange. So the orange, green, and purple are what we call secondary colors. If you combine secondary colors and primary colors, you get tertiary colors which are my favorite. So if you were to combine red and orange, you get red-orange. If you combine red and purple, you get red-purple. So when you're planning your project, having a really great understanding of the placement of the colors on the color wheel can be really helpful. If you want to pick, say, three colors, uh, a great place to start is with analogous colors. Basically all that means is it's three colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. For example, blue, I'm sorry, blue-purple, purple, and purple-red. When you see these colors together, you see they make kind of a monochromatic palette, but they go really well together. So it's a great place to start and a really easy color solution for you. If you want to be really adventurous, you can take two complementing colors. In this case, I'm going to pick yellow and purple. And I'm going to put purple down and pick up the two colors next to it. So these are tertiary colors. So I've got yellow, purple-blue, and purple-red, and you can see they make a great combination. You can do this with any of the colors on the color wheel. Another great trick is to look at shades and tints of color. Shade just means that you've added black to it. Jewel tones are a great example of this. Here we've got your basic blue and yellow, but with black added, it creates a much more subdued, maybe elegant color palette. The opposite of this is tint. Tint means we've added white to it. This is where your pastels come from. So here, we've got basically the same color scheme, but instead of adding black, we added white. So we've got red, blue, and yellow, but with white added to it, it creates a much different feel. My last trick when you're in your local yarn store and you just can't find a color combination you like is to look for variegated yarn. Designers have spent hours and hours coming up with color combinations that work. All you have to do, grab one you like and start matching colors and the yarn what you need. Super easy, super fast, you'll be out of there in no time. That's it for today. Be sure and visit our blog, leisurearts.com slash blog for more tips and to see how I use color in my projects.